Right, Chelsea face a trip to Manchester City in the EFL Cup tomorrow. Let's look ahead to that game now. And we can join our reporter, Gail Davis. Good afternoon, Gail. Two Premier League defeats for Potter in quick succession. You've been speaking to him. Is he feeling any pressure? Yeah, very good afternoon, Vicky. A few weeks ago when I spoke to him, he talked about the lack of noise around Chelsea. That was then. This is now. And as you mentioned, those back-to-back -back defeats in the Premier League, 4-1 on his return to Brighton, and then that 1-0 loss to Arsenal on the weekend. He's beginning to understand a little bit more, isn't he, about scrutiny in managing at one of the big, big sides. I'd, I'd be lying here if I, if I said to you that I didn't expect it at some point. It's, it's, you take this job and you take this challenge on, then of course there's going to be times where it's not a, 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 a pleasant road, shall we say, and you have to deal with that. And you have to be honest and say, OK, we need to do better and that's my responsibility and take that. But, you know, I think we're, we've had a six-week period in the end where we're going to play 13 matches, eight of them away. It has a toll on, on everything, um, some injuries to some key players. It can get messy. It's part of the process. I've been through it at Brighton, been through it at Swansea, been through it in my club at Sweden. So it is what it is. And, you, you know, that's part, of the, that's part of what the job is, to deal with it. So, Gail, he's taking everything in his stride. What about Raheem Sterling? Because he's received some criticism of late. Was Potter concerned by his form as well? Do you know what, Vicky? Most of the criticism that Sterling has probably got has been fiercest from himself. He, he's very honest, isn't he? Demands a very high standard. And before that Arsenal game, he said, you know, it's just not there. It's not where I want to be at the moment. And the form is a little bit of concern for not just Chelsea fans, but England fans as well. Not scored since the end of August against Southampton. And Potter says, look, it's, it's not about zooming in on a player. It's about everybody as a collective doing better for him. So he's not particularly worried, uh, but I'm not sure this... You know, it's a case of, isn't it, he just wants to find some sort of spark to, to get his season going with such a big few weeks ahead. Oh, I think he's, and you can tell by his reaction, he's honest. Um, players <clears throat> go through moments in their career where it isn't so positive and sometimes they go where, it's, where everything they touch is... is is gold, so to speak. Um, as I've said before, I don't think you can zoom into the individual. The team isn't functioning as well as we would like, I would like. So that has an impact on the individuals and Raheem is an individual in the team. So the work for us is to try and improve the team and improve the structures. And then I have no doubt about Raheem's quality, Raheem's ability. It's, it's a proven top, top player. Yes, yeah, so finally, Gail, with the World Cup round the corner, plenty of nations are hanging on managers every word, aren't they? So did he have an update on the fitness of Rhys James or even Kepa? And Vicky, you've got to remember, they play Man City and then they're away at Newcastle, aren't they? So I think uh, there'll be a lot of England fans keeping their uh, fingers crossed, won't they? Rhys James, there is no miraculous heal, healing to report, unfortunately, as far as he's concerned and England's concerned. He was out on the grass today, Graham Potter, not putting any time scale. It's very much day-to-day, -day, don't want to push him too soon. Not great news for Kepa either. We, we were told, weren't we, he wouldn't play before the World Cup and... And he, there was just that little bit of doubt when I asked Kepa, uh, when I asked Potter about Kepa. He just said that it's quite a painful injury that he's got, and he is. They're a little bit cautious, and the news isn't great uh, regarding his uh, part in the World Cup, which obviously is less than two weeks away. Great news for him. Thank you very much, Gail.